Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think that we are actually live now, if I see correctly. So Excellency colleagues, friends, good afternoon. It is a tremendous pleasure to welcome you to this session on champion women's leadership in tech. Sylvina, talking about good business results, I, I need to come to you because you know, I would like to understand from you as, a, as your experience as a, a young woman leader in tech to reach the leadership level you've gotten to, what would you say were the specific and the concrete actions that really worked well to support you along the way in becoming such a leader? And, and what advice would you give us? What, what should we do to really accelerate progress and increase the inclusivity in tech? Like changing the mindset of how we see ourselves and not being afraid of being a leader, so being assertive, of dreaming big and uh, flying high was a key. Another thing that uh, actually what I will say is uh, what I said in Equals in Tech uh, Award to actually believe that we can change the world is the first step to start changing it. So working on ourselves because it's, you know, St. Patrick's Week, so we make our own luck too, so we need to believe that we can. And the other thing is uh, going back to the Rins coming. We need to work together with people, build our own tribe, public, uh, uh, public private partnership, working with innovators, working with multilaterals, working with academia, building, joining forces. Because one of the things that sometimes we women fail is instead of like trying to see how we can bring our efforts together and build a platform that is stronger, that make us um, bigger, that put us in a better position, we work in an isolated manner. And the strength and the difference lies in our ability to believe that we can do it and actually our ability to build our tribe because at the end of the day, business is a contact sport and we need to build networks and we need to make the contacts that we need to actually be able to try. I love the business as a contact sport. We need to get out there and be confident and, and really just just do it, Sylvina, is what you're saying. I like that very much. Because the sky should have, have the opportunities and we need to normalize seeing successful women thrive. For that, we need to sponsor women, lift them up, we need to hire women so they can access the type of opportunities that fits into their life and they can continue into the career path to reach leadership. And we need to fund women. This is super, super important. It's up to us to use technology to change the rules of the game. We are living the perfect storm for digital transformation. And now we have no excuses to see successful women thriving and building role models so the next generation won't have to be here to explain why we need to have equal opportunity. Thank you. Thank you all so much for sharing your thoughts. And if I was going to summarize, I would probably say only six words, confidence, collaboration, education, measurement with a capital M for maths, sponsorship and funding. I think those are great comments. It shows we're not going to be able to do this alone. We have to find a way to work together. And I truly believe that together we have the opportunities and the power to truly transform the world for women in the future, giving them the chance and opportunity to achieve leadership roles in tech and the mobile industries. And with this, I'd like to invite Ms. Hilda Hardeman, the head of the European Service for Foreign Policy Instruments to bring the closing remarks for this session. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this, this panel was a real call for action, for urgent action. Many are putting their shoulders under, under the task of championing women in tech. There are many challenges, but also many opportunities, and we need to capture these across the globe. From Zilin Lambo emphasized it, the pandemic and the disproportionate impact it has on women makes this even more urgent now. My president, Ursula von der Leyen, is particularly attached to taking this forward. To start with, we must challenge digital gender stereotypes, help girls and women invest lifelong in digital skills, encourage them to be confident and choose for a career in tech, taking a first, second, third, fourth chance. That is key. 
motivating girls and women to study ICT, facilitating their access to university, using also new models, as Dr. Kurt Rice said, doing away with misconceptions and unconscious, unconscious bias is crucial. Secondly, to close the gender pay gap and gender leadership gap in the tech sector, we need to see more women entrepreneurs, more women at the top. We need to see change from within tech companies, also on work culture. And for the European Union, this is top priority. At political level, EU member states and Norway made a political commitment to raising the place of women in digital. Doreen Bogdan Martin already mentioned it. Across the EU, we celebrate a Girls in ICT Day to raise awareness. And at company level, the European Commission forged an, an alliance with big tech companies to close the digital gender divide by signing a declaration of commitment with CEOs. Google, Spotify, Dell, Accenture, and many others have joined us in this undertaking. And we seek to bring many others along. Third, we need to do more to raise awareness of the opportunities there are. Events like today's are important. And following the example of Silvina Moschini, we must strengthen opportunities for girls and women for mentoring and networking because business is a contact sport. Finally, we should address the issue of gender and diversity, as several speakers said both when it comes to tech users and tech professionals. Greater diversity brings more creativity, more innovation, and ultimately greater profitability. Is this an uphill battle? Yes, it is. And are we going to win it? Yes, of course we will. So let's continue championing women in tech industry. Let's work together and let's be smart. We know what makes a difference to build forward better. Let's all do our part. We need to start early and go fast. Let's embrace our strength for generation equality. When women thrive, society thrives. Thank you all very much indeed.